today I'm going to be sharing with you how I am going to be building a raised bed for my garden. It's going to be about 6 by 3 by 12. Going to be using a pencil that I'm going to stick back in my bun so I don't lose it because I have lost them before. A framing square that I will stick in my pocket so that, you know, I won't lose it or actually just to get it out of the way for now. A pair of safety glasses that I will stick on my face for safety, you know. Tape measure. Number six two inch drywall screws. A drill. Seven fence um, pickets. And a skill saw. So I'm going to move the things I don't need right now out of the way and then I'm going to get started. Okay, I'm going to cut two of my boards to three feet, which is half the board. So this will be the two ends. And then I'll have four of these full length ones, length ones for the two sides. And I'm going to have to cut one of the boards into stakes to drive into the ground for, um, to hold it in place. So I'm going to go ahead and get that board cut into stakes. I've measured this board to where it's 18 inches. So that means I'm going to have eight of these, which I will split in half. No, I will have four of these that I will split into half and have eight in the end. That's what I'm trying to say. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these. I'm gonna use um, the table saw to split these in half, and then I'm going to just cut like a little uh, V shape, if you can see that. Cut like a V shape in the ends. The guard is down, and the jig is set up over here to cut this in half. So I'm facing it started. This is just a simple way to do this. It's not a hard thing to do. All we're gonna do is build a box. So we're going to take the end piece and the side piece, and we're gonna put three screws in it. Okay, so now we're gonna take one part of that over to our garden spot and we're going to figure out, you know, what all we might have to move because it's not level. If your ground is level, you don't have to worry about doing this. I'm not gonna show us doing it, but we're gonna take that over there and then we're gonna bring it back over here and we're gonna show you how we're going to put the top and bottom together. But because our yard kind of goes downhill, we're gonna have to move some stuff around, make it even so that we can have it level on the ground. We found that we don't have to level it out as much as we thought. It's actually not that, that bad. So you're gonna put the top piece on top of here. And they should sit on top of each other fairly easily. And what we're going to do is take these, huh? Kind of upside down? Oh, you're gonna do it this way. That's so much better. <laughs> we're gonna bring these in here and we're going to screw one screw. Is it one screw we're gonna put or two? Just put one screw in the top, one in the bottom to hold these down or hold these on. That way, our top and bottom piece will be attached. So, we're gonna do that real quick. Whoop, 
can't see me. Okay, the next thing that's gonna happen is he's gonna go inside and get the new grinder, the rigid grinder we got, because we're also testing out our new tools today. He's gonna go get that, and I'm gonna cut off all of these screws that are sticking out in there. I'm going to take the grinder, so I get to play with a new toy. And I'm going, which we have an older grinder, but this one is battery operated. But anyway, I'm going to try it to see how well I can do with it. Like I said before, I think I said it in my other video, I like the grinder. I don't know why, but I just Okay, so all of them are cut off. You probably wouldn't have to do this, but just for safety precautions, we're doing it because, who knows, we may plant potatoes and have to dig in there. Or there may be something we have to dig on the side of our flower uh, garden bed in there with. But, I mean, you don't technically have to because this is going to be under the dirt, this uh, on the inside where the screws are. You might could leave the bottom ones and not cut those off, but just cut off the top ones. But we just go ahead and cut off all of them. And then after we're done cutting them off, we get our little magnet out that we use for metal detecting and we find all the ends. So we're going to set the camera up over at the garden and show you how we're going to install this. <laughs> I'm going to start on the end, knocking these in and just work my way down to the other end. And um, that way, till this part touches the ground, that's how far down they got to go. So we got it in the ground and now it's ready for soil, which I'm not gonna show you that part because everybody knows how to put soil in a into a I guess a bed. I don't know what you call this. But anyway, all <laughs> it's a bed, but um we got it down all the way. We're gonna put soil in like we did these. We still got some work to do to those. So uh Anyway, I guess that's all I have to show you today. Um, it might be easier to build it, to put the two pieces together over in the bed, the way we did those. I don't know, because putting this in the ground was kind of hard for me, so we had to bring out the big guns. My son had to come over here with an axe and finish it off, because <laughs> he's much stronger than I. So anyway, um, that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet. <laughs>